There, there we go. Boop. Yeah, see, like, right now, I don't have the stamina to swing my knife. It should totally do a weak swing that only opens boxes. That'd be so convenient. So convenient. All right, let's go. Wait, what? Oh. I definitely thought we were going somewhere from down here. I guess not. Oh, that's a bummer. Damn, I thought we found something awesome. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, well. Did you do the monitor switch you mentioned yesterday? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I've changed my monitor setup. Working great so far. Might be a quest location. I'd be surprised if this was not a quest location at this point. Ooh. God damn it. Exactly what I was hoping to avoid. The reason I'm too heavy is because I'm using an artifact that gets heavier as I use it. Gotta wait for a second for it to cool off. Good talk. Oh my god, how many are out there, dude? more I can't move yet you can see in the bottom left Wait, can I actually get out here? Oh, I don't know about this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go out this way. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother that. Hey, Grims, what's up, buddy? That's a sexy shot you got there. Thank you, man. I love that thing. I got my shot. I got my sniper. Did you find this guy, Grims? Dude, look at this thing. Look at this thing. The soft mod. Did you find this thing? Oh my lord. I think it's cool. Okay. You did? Yeah, buddy. Oh man. So Grims, uh, I've I've been kind of following your tweets a little bit. Did you end up running into like oh no, these guys died. Shoot. Did you end up running into too many bugs in your playthrough? I know you've been I I've seen you've been trying to enjoy the game, but it's like it, it can be a little difficult at times. We got to get back to base, like, now. Yesterday. Yep. Yesterday. Be a good time. There we go. Mm. Oh. Another dead guy. I see dead people, chat. Mm. Okay, let's see. Uh, eat some of you. Eat some of you. Okay, great. On the sixth day, I got nuked with bugs and crashed, but the first five days was mint. Oh, right on, man. Hey, out of curiosity, Grims, um, 
did your did your game really start messing up around the time you got to like a circa slash clear sky area? Do those words mean anything to you? I'm I'm collecting all the different areas that people have been stopping at due to bugs. Yes, that was you? Okay, man. That seems to be the part. Okay. That seems to be the part. Some people are having okay luck with it, but other people are just having like, yeah, my game falls apart after this part. I'm really hoping uh, that that's what they're going to be addressing with this patch coming out soon. We should see it this week, hopefully, from the sounds of it. Um... No, let's do this. Let's do this. Do I know what the multiplayer aspect's going to be? No, nobody does yet. All right, chat. Small change of plans. We need to go uh, bank. We need to go bank. Oh, there's a quest here. We got to get that too. Uh, okay, we're going to go there. Do I have a Hercules? I don't think so. No, bummer. Okay. Oh. The hell's that? Dang it. Oh, maybe that's where we come up from the pit. <laughs> that's a uh, pillar. No, oh, thanks. Okay. Great. I tried to RP into it just being a bunch of anomalies, but I failed. Dude, I've heard it's impossible to do that later, but good try. Good try. Dyrain! So apparently it's possible that four invisible bloodsuckers can spawn at once and attack you after killing three I died to an anomaly. Good thing is that they don't respawn if you load another save file. Dunno if it's intended or a bug. Oh no, no, I, I have definitely had a whole metric ass ton of stalkers spawn on my face. Um, that is, that is a thing, yeah. Tamas says cat name. She looks adorable. That is Siri Chan. Hi, Siri Chan. She's, she's my uh, my office cat. She just comes in and sleeps all day, pretty much. She's great. Mm. Siri has um, voraciously stepped up to the office cat role since the uh, unfortunate passing of my recent office cat, Dimitri, who just left us at age 19. So. Pretty much right after Dimitri left us, Siri was like, okay, I'm the office cat now. And here we are. Yeah. And she's been doing great. Yeah. She looks pissed that you woke her up. Ah, a little bit. A little bit. Sorry about Dimitri. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I mean, we've we've had a lot of unfortunate animal passings in the last couple years. We've lost Letho, Booker, and Gary. And Dimitri. But Dimitri was different. Dimitri was very different. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, oh my god. Dimitri was very different as a 19-year-old cat. Like, yeah, he, he did great. He did great. He, he, he did awesome. Yep. Okay, that's absolute bullshit. They need to completely change this shit. This whole, like, psi enemies can just spawn at you and start shooting you. That's bullshit. That's not fun and that's dumb. They need to change that. Like, I don't know what they were thinking putting that in, to be real. At least have them spawn so you have a second reaction time before they start shooting you. Like that, that again, that's just dumb. I feel like that's the AI life system just not working right. Or the A life, yeah. They should spawn in and yell cheeky breaky. Dude, they should spawn in and at least yell at you and give you like a second or two to see where they are before they start shooting you. Like at least let us know they're there before we're taking damage. That's the big part. We should not take damage without knowing why or where it's coming from when we're running through the middle of an open field. <laughs> like that's just, that just doesn't make any sense. Is there any ridge down from here? Maybe over here? I think over here. Okay. This ridge is brutal. Yeah, right there. There we go. I appreciate it, Grim. Saw that. 
do mutants spawn behind you? So the whole the, the whole game right now has this real significant issue with um, how it spawns enemies into the world. And I think one of the reasons that the, the issues are so prevalent is because in the previous games, they actually had a really cool system called A-Life that would manage all that stuff. But that system is broken in this game. Uh, it's in the game, but it's just not working right. And what that means is, is that to cover up slash stop gap it, they put in a lot of like weird instant spawning mechanics that are not good. They're just not good. They don't feel like stalker. They don't feel good at all. And they're all stopgap measures. The the hopefully the actual a life system will be back. Um, but it's it's gonna probably take at least a few patches to see that come back. Yeah. Credit to the modders, by the way. The modders are already hard at work trying to fix those bugs. And there's actually, from what I understand, a couple pretty good, um, some pretty good fixes that are on the mod, the mod stuff. Jared Greenberg says, it means this is currently a beta. Yeah. I, I mean, you could very easily argue this is not a finished game. Yep. Acoustium? Yeah. Awesome, man. I mean, here's the thing. I, I, I would be one of the first to say this is not a finished game. But there's also a reason that I've played it like 30 hours in the last six days. Like, it's not finished. There's no question. But what is in the game is amazing. So, it like, this is a phenomenal platform for modding. It's it, The immersive elements of this game are second to none. Um, there are many things in this game already that are of my game of the year quality. Absolutely. So, I mean, it's there's a reason I've been playing it as much as I have. But I'll be the first to tell you it's not done. <laughs> so. That's just the reality of the situation. Yep. Do you think it should have been released as EA instead of full release? Nah, that would have, that would have come with all its own problems. Yeah. Yeah. Should they have delayed it? I mean, yeah, I, they, they absolutely should have delayed it. There's no question. I mean, every every game that releases with bugs, they should have delayed, right? But that being said, um, if there are any companies that I think have really good reasons for getting their game out a little early, I would argue this is one of them. Yeah. Like, th these guys are in a pretty extraordinary position. So... If you are the kind of person that looks for good reasons to give a good excuse, this game has lots of them. Yep. For instance, I, I give a game like this a lot more of a pass for bugs like this as opposed to like cyberpunk on release. Like, I feel, I feel like those are com two completely different situations. Um, you know, like those, those, one of these things is not like the other kind of thing. What's going on with this game? Uh, so this game is being developed by a team that is based out of Ukraine. They're not in Ukraine right now. They've actually moved out of it. But obviously, they've been dealing with everything that comes with having your friends and family in a war zone. So they, they have had... And they worked on this through COVID as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's a project that has had a lot of... Trials and tribulations. Oh, and Tarquinia says half the team is actually still there. Yep, that's true. Some of the team is still there and some of the team is, is in a different location. I've heard Prague. Yep. But you know, it, it's like, like I like to say with this stuff, every game is its own unique situation. And it's really easy to kind of lump all games under an umbrella. Oh, all, all games are unfinished on release, blah, blah, blah. But every single game is its own unique story on why it's not finished on release. And those reasons on why it's not finished, for me, are very important to know. So we can make good reasonings and, and, and you know, have all the information. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
What would be the story on recent Ubisoft games and their quality? Exactly. That's a very, that's a very different discussion than what's going on with this game. Very different discussion. That's a very good point. Not one we're going to have right now. But that's a very different discussion. Okay, we're going to put all this stuff away. We're not going to sell this here because we're not green with this vendor. And that means we're not going to make as much money if we sell to him. That's one of the nice tricks to make money in the zone. Only sell to vendors that are green and you will make more money. Only repair at vendors that are green and you will save 50% on your repairs. It's a lot of money when you're spending 10K for repairs. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Put you back. Put you back. Put you back. We're going to carry those with us. How do you become green with vendors? Uh, you do missions for the bartenders. That can really help. Uh, do side missions in the area. That helps as well. that for now. I, I like this gun, but I hate the scope on it. I don't like the scope on it. What happened to the monolithians? What happened to the monolithians and how to deal with it is a big part of the story. Yeah. Don't forget your armor. What do you mean, don't forget my armor? Okay, weight is now much better. Uh, let's go ahead and head to... Oh, let's get this side quest. Let's go see what this is. Where are you? I have no idea what this quest is. Uh, Panda Jadis, thank you, buddy. Matching those biddies as a tip. That was from earlier. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. God damn swamps. God damn same cabbage. I've got to do something. Sergeant, hey, Sarge. Tell the captain to get someone to replace me. I'll tell him. You drink this, and I'll tell him. I'll drink it once he relieves me of my watch. Don't you remember regulations? The honor guard can drink on duty. Uh, uh, I don't think I've been in here. Stalker, don't trust anyone around here. Hmm. They're not real. The real Captain Senkevich is lying over there. He hasn't budged in three days. And they drowned Batalov in the swamp to make sure nobody could stop them from taking over. I saw it with my own eyes. Bro? Don't trust anyone around here. They're not real. This is fine. I guess. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Hi. When I left for Icarus, I thought it'd be like a vacation. Small, remote garrison, what could go wrong? An encounter with local fauna or food poisoning at worst. Boy, was I wrong. There isn't a single empty bed left in the infirmary. We bring in What's going on in the background? Every day. I can't remember the last time I got a good night's sleep. Uh, definitely before I got here. So, for the time being, you seem to be the most mentally stable one here. But trust me, it won't last long. Oh, great. 
Um, so the big thing that's happening in the background is what what you're generally seeing as as Chad is calling it. This is generally called Z fighting in games, and what happens is is there are multiple textures that are in the exact same place, and the game doesn't know which one to display. So it's it's causing all sorts of problems. What can happen in situations like this is if they put a building down and then they go back through it and retexture it then a lot of times this can happen, especially if they do it uh, with automation, which is another thing. So it's basically like multiple graphics fighting for what you can see, if that's what this is. It may not be that, but it looks like it. <clears throat> you seem a little jumpy. Need help? Three of my patients have run away, and I'm afraid their mats won't help them anymore. Not as long as they stay in the zone, at least. It's an anomaly, yes. And what about your own people? Why don't you ask them? I don't think Sienkiewicz would listen to me. He'd rather capture these guys and send them out for experimental treatment. I have no clue what guys like Kravenko would even do to them. Hmm. What do you want me to do? When you find them, shoot them in the legs. Then I'll send them back to the mainland on a medical... What? They just might stand a chance out there. That could get them killed. You sure about this? I know it's risky. But if we don't take this risk, they'll end up at Circa. And no one with a diagnosis like that has ever come back from there. They're better off dead. Trust me on that. Damn. How did your patients manage to escape? <coughs> I have no idea. But they managed to do it without setting off any alarms. And I'm not surprised in the least. Even when they're out of their minds, Excuse me. are still pros. And these guys are scouts to boot. Any idea where I should look for your runaways? How the fuck should I know? If I did, I'd find them myself. All I have is their personal belonging. There, in the drawer. You can dig around in there and see if I missed anything. Hey, Maybe Co. Go ask the loners on the Feeling thirsty. They scurry oh, no. around Wait. all over the place like rats. Present company excluded, of course. Nah. You're basically one of us now. By the way, thank you, Stalker. There aren't that many people here who actually care. Hydrate, homies. Get that co-sip on. All right, there's a drawer we can go through. Where is the drawer? Hmm. Hmm. There's another quest we can get? Wait. How do we get to the second floor of this building? Oh. Ha! It works! You can't fix it? Just throw it out. Yeah, right. There is nothing I can fix. Oh. Stalker, huh? Haven't seen you around here before. Though, to be fair, I just got assigned here myself. The previous tech ended up under Batalo, so now I'm filling his shoes. I just hope I don't end up like him. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, got any work? Do you have any work for me? With the equipment and the people here both going haywire, we have got plenty. I know what to do when a mission fails, but if my head goes out of whack, I gotta ask Batalo for a bed by the window. And those eggheads from Circa give us nothing but pills. Thanks, but no thanks. If I had the parts, I would make me a sea suit already. A sea suit? They got some, but they ain't giving us any. I want a sea suit. You can get the parts at the depot, though. <laughs> Bring them to me, and I will make you a sea suit, too. A stalker could sure use one of those in the swamp. I could. How did the parts end up outside, Circa? We got artists from the top brass to set up a mobile lab. The previous tech was setting up a power grid there. But after the first equipment delivery, the project fell apart. They discovered biological activity in the form of a mutant. The eggheads ran back to Circa, and what little they brought with them was left here to gather dust. They've got plenty of this stuff back at the Institute. 
And why would you need a Bzisu when you've got pills? As with anything that comes from Circa, those pills might solve your problem on the spot, but then you will have to deal with the side effects for the rest of your life. Whoa. I may be a little bit crazy now too, but I trust myself more than their match. Okay. All right. I'll get you your parts. Get to the depot. There is a huge hangar there with these doors. The parts are inside. The entrance is electronically locked, but you should be able to get in no problem. Unless my tools deceive me, Circa still keeps the place powered on. Find some spare parts post haste and get back to me. No one's supposed to be in there anymore. I think. I think. Need any? Show me. He thinks, chat. He thinks. Ah, oh, ten thousand to repair already. That hurts so much. Oh, you can install the top end things. Oh, the technician cannot install this upgrade. I want that so bad. That's the big one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Remind me of Have you forgotten already? Cool. Okay. okay, he is not green, so we're not going to be using him anyway. Where is this thing? It, it is down here. Oh, it's in here. Ah. Hmm, patrol route, okay. Can I talk to you about this? Don't trust okay. anyone around here. They're... I've been here for three years. Huh. Let's keep it. Everyone. Rook three. When you've. They... Okay, just shoot him in the legs. Okay. So let's take a look here. Get to the warehouse. Locate the wardens. Okay, yeah. So we're on this one. Great. Let's do it. Um, How are we doing on weight and everything? Oh, we're fine. Yeah, let's go. All right, now we're going to... He oh. Oh! Interesting. We're back up there. Okay. Uh, we're we're going to go down here for now. Let's do it. I wonder if reloading would fix the Z fighting. It doesn't. No. What are the next games I'm playing? Uh, we're going to be playing... We're going to be finishing up DAV. I'm um, going to get that all done. Uh, I do want to start up Metaphor at some point in the near future. I was going to start up Metaphor directly after Soccer 2, but I don't know how much longer we have in this game. And also we have PoE 2 on December 6th, and I am planning on diving into PoE 2 for a while. So, yeah, we will, we will see. But uh, Metaphor is definitely on the docket. I want to get back into Metaphor. And then we got Indiana Jones 2 soon as well. Yep. Metaphor in 2025? Maybe. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know, but... I definitely want to play it. And then as we get closer to February, we've got like the new Monster Hunter, the new Yakuza, Avowed. Um, God, there's like three more. Uh, what else we got in next November? Um, KCD 2, and I would like to do KCD 1 before then. So we may have to start KCD 1 soon. Good luck with your schedule. I know, dude. I know. Hi, guys. 